Good morning. This is Cindy and welcome to my channel. So this morning I am working on something very, very different. Um, this is a copy of Are You There, God? It's me, Margaret. It's a very old copy um, that was I, I was gifted to me, actually. A, a friend of mine found it and she said, I'm sure you could do something with this because there were pages missing out of it. And the binding was broken and it was actually in two pieces when she handed it to me. I'm like, yeah, I can find something to do with that. So I have the title page and I have these wonderful pages that were in the back. Um, there are a couple of really good blank pages of aged paper that I will use. And you can see it starts with chapter two. So uh, there are no, there's, there's no sense in keeping this. So this is going to become pockets and tags and uh, that sort of thing as I go through things. I already folded one. Um, if I glue it together, which I can do real quick, just that's actually this was the only page of page of the first chapter that was in there. Uh, so I'm, I have my what do you call that cereal paper down there, cereal liner, and that's for a reason. I will share that in a minute. I'm going to take my card and get that all nicely down there. Trim a little bit off the edge because there is definitely still some of that really hard glue from the book binding on it. I don't want that edge on there. And what I have now, when that dries... That'll be a really nice pocket. If I fold the edge down a little bit, which I think I will do. Where's my glue stick again? And I, I got this idea from, let me just grab a page to use as a glue page. I got this idea from Carrie the Crafter. I will put the link down below. And now I have a good pocket with a really good strong top on it. And if I take my hole maker here, my notch maker, I can put that in there, make my notch, and now I have a pocket that I can use in a journal. And I could trim it down if I decide I'm not going to trim it today. Um, but if I decide that it needs, like this is a journal that I'm working on that is small, that's a little bit too wide for in there. So I would have to trim it down if I want to put it in here. So anyway, I'm working on these pages. So yesterday I took some time and I pulled the book apart. Now what I'm going to do is take a few of these pages that are all text and I have my watercolors out. These are watercolor pencils from Stampin' Up. I don't have a lot of colors. Uh, this set is, I don't know what set this is. Does it have numbers on it somewhere? Uh, well, it has Real Red, Calypso Coil, Pumpkin Pie. They have weird names for a lot of these. They really get into naming their colors. Daffodil Delight, Old Olive, Bermuda Bay, Pacific Point, Red, Rich Razzleberry, Melon Mambo, Early Espresso, Basic Gray, Basic Black, and Whisper White. I have taken out the white, the gray, the black, and the brown because I don't want those colors. So I'm going to go ahead and just stick those back in there. I don't want to use those colors today. What I'm going to use are these. I've got pretty much browns and reds, or sorry, greens and reds and blues. and So there's there, my palette is limited. I do have other watercolor pencils. I'm going to be honest with you, they're not as good. So I'm going to start with these five for the moment. And I'm going to go ahead and color on my page. And I'm not being very, very good about it. Um, I'm just grabbing colors and I'm going to color my page. 
this is using these watercolor pencils and to be honest the other ones that I have I think I don't know where they came from they were a gift and um, I just don't oh that's too close to the same let's get something different in there and now we can put that orange in there I'm going to take it all the way down to the bottom of the page I have a cup of water here and I'm hoping I'm staying up in frame I'm not so let me move back up into frame there we go and I have just water colored the whole thing and now I'm just going to spread that color out with water I am not being particularly good about it I have put down the cereal liner to oh, kind of keep the mess off my mat and I'm not using very much water I'm using very very little water to do this because my page obviously is going to wrinkle uh, which is fine it will dry flat or at least flatter and um, if it gets too much I can either iron it or I can stick it under a big book so it's no big deal so there we go now I have a colored paper that I can use for my book pages so why am I doing this why am I spending my time today instead of doing any real crafting I suppose this is crafting but I'm playing around with watercolors why am I doing that instead of actually you know making something out of these and whatnot mostly because in a few weeks I'm not going to be doing much of anything uh, I have found out that I need to have my knee, right knee replaced it's not a big surprise it's been bothering me for a while I'm gonna go ahead and go to, back to the blue but I'm gonna go a little bit lighter on the color here Um, when I was a kid, I used those clamp on roller skates that pretty much fell off all the time. I don't remember a summer where I didn't have skin knees. Why walk when you can run? And you know, you, so you fall down and you scrape your knee, you get up, you stick a bandaid on and you keep going. So I did that all the time. Boy, that yellow is bright. And I knew someday I might pay for it, and the time has come to pay for it. So I already have had my left knee replaced. Now I have to have my right knee replaced. Time has come. Which is okay, but I'm going to need projects. I like them. Okay, um, I'm going to do a couple more of these. I'm going to pause. I'm going to do a couple more of these, and then I will be right back. Okay, for this one, I did the blue first, and then I did the yellow over it, and I'm curious to see what will happen if I can spread those together to make kind of a green. Yeah, look at that. Look what's happening there. That's really cool. So this is new life for an old book. These pages are going to become pockets and tags. And I will do a video later, perhaps, on how to fold some of these so that they become all of those other pieces. But for right now, I'm going to pause again and uh, keep going. I really like how that came out. When you flip it over, it's kind of messy, but that's okay. It's this, this is the side I'm going to be using for different things. Pausing. Coming back on to tell you a couple things that I have learned. Um, I had to sharpen these two pencils. This is the green and the blue. Um, and I did it in my electric, I have an uh, electric pencil sharpener. And just, I am a cheap son of a gun, so I was very careful about not 
putting them in for too long. Just if when you go to sharpen your pencils, because I don't want to lose any of the pigment. So when you do your, oh, and this page was a little bit wet. Well, that's all right. We'll see what happens as we go through it. There's a little bit of water down on my paper already. Um, and what else did I learn? There was something else that I learned I was going to share with you, and now I have forgotten what it was. Yeah, so I am basically spending a lot of time getting things organized and ready <clears throat> so that in five weeks time I can just sit in my chair on my very nice pain meds and do something that does not require a lot of thinking or creativity. Oh, I know what I was going to tell you. I'm using very, very little water in order to do this. There's, I'm, I'm tapping my brush in there and just getting the tiniest bit of water on it because a little bit of water goes a very long way. So you don't need a lot. Oh, I don't know if I like these colors, but what the heck, you know? You do it and you play and you see what comes up. Okay, let me take a minute here and now pull all of my papers up. I have them drying off to the side. I will, I'm gonna actually throw a bunch of these. Yeah, we'll leave them. Ah! I do want to take a minute and wipe up my piece here. I obviously I've been doing some playing around with color. This is uh what is that? Is that acrylic paint? No, that's yeah, that's acrylic paint mostly. Okay, so I have that page. Let me pull up my initial pages here. They're still damp, but they're drying fairly quickly. This was the very first page that I did. This is one I did with similar colors. Um, I did this one trying to make a purple in the middle. Let me see if I can push these up and out of the way a little bit, or at least move them out of the way so that I can bring up this one. I did this one with blue and red and then did them both in the middle so I could get a little bit of purple. And this one I did, and I like how this one came out. That's a rainbow. I started with the same colors and then worked into the middle. So many possibilities. And I only have, how many pencils are in here? I'm using one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different colors. And they're not even primary, so... You know, you just kind of play around. This one I just did with, I did blue all over it and then I did yellow all over it. So it came out kind of green, which I wanted. This one was another one where I did two, the, I think that was the raspberry, razzleberry on the top and the bottom and then the orange in the middle. And then this one I did with the green and the blue. I don't like how that one came out as well. And this one I did with the raspberry down into a couple of different colors. So I kind of did another gradation. All right. So this is playing around with watercolors to color book pages. And um, eventually when these dry, I think I'm going to try doing some stamping over the top of them to see what happens. And uh, again, if this is all about prep work, getting things ready for uh, days when I don't have my full faculties. All right, I'm going to pause one more time. I'm going to clear my, my desk here a little bit and uh, I'll be back. Okay, I have switched uh, my watercolor pencils to the, this is watercolor pencils, 25 piece set from Punctuate. Um, this is the cheaper set. You can tell it's cheaper because when you 
Uh, it doesn't glide as well. Um, it's definitely a different kind of pigment. And it, so far I've done two of them and the pigment does not spread as well. Um, I did that one and I did this one. So I'm just trying a few more. This I put some green down, I put the yellow down, and now I'm just throwing a little bit of blue over the top of it to see what happens. I'm also discovering it takes more water in order to get it to spread at all. So I really am having to soak these pages a lot more. Okay. So we'll see what happens here. Let me pull it up so we're back, all of it in frame. I mean, the color moves. It just doesn't move as well, and some colors move better than others. Uh, the yellow is not moving hardly at all, but the green and the blue are moving quite well. Actually, the green's moving great. So this is going to end up being more of a green page than anything else because the green is moving over the top of everything else and not really, the yellow did not blend in. You can't tell that I put blue on there at all. That green came out quite nicely, however. So maybe I'll do a few sheets of this that are just all one color. All right, I'm gonna pause, I'll do a few and I'll show you what I come up with. Okay, so these were the two that I did with the other water, watercolor pencils eventually i got it to spread some but you can see that it didn't come out quite as well as i liked it to um but we'll see we'll play with those i also got out my regular colored pencils and i have a lot of colored pencils um, i have these two mugs both say cindy on them these are all blues and greens and purples. These are the twistle, twisted kind. This is from the Wonderful World of Color in uh, Disneyland. And I have all my oranges and reds and those colors there. So I'm going to set those aside. I did a page. I'm not going to try to put water over this because these, these, these are not watercolor pencils. But I just wanted you to see that if, if you don't have watercolor pens, pencils, um, or watercolor. Obviously, you can do this with watercolor paints as well. Um, but I just went over it with, this was a couple of different colors of orange. And I'm doing orange only because I'm working on a couple of fall journals. But uh, Christmas is coming up, so let me do a couple Christmassy colors here. And again, I'm using the same just all over technique. And changing the pressure that I put down so some of it is really heavy and some of it is very light. Let me find a decent green over here that I think will go well with this. A lot of choices in my colors. So I get a red and a green going on here. I don't have a gold that I like. I'd throw gold in here too, but I'm just going to stripe this all the way down. And I'm not worrying about getting to the edges because I may or may not use the edges. Again, let me throw those back in my piece. If I'm just doing a simple piece you know if i'm folding it in half this one's folding in half is that they're just not wide enough to, to do a fold in that regard um but there are a lot of other types of folds that you can do with these you know bring it up and do come on stay put just a little bit oh i forget how that fold goes doesn't matter doesn't matter we're not folding today anyway um so, but there's lots of folds, and even if all I did was this, you know, I can uh, stamp on it. What I like about this is that because it is already dry, I can do as much stamping as I would like. So I can, I 
on. I just stepped on my pages that are drying at my feet. Come on. I'll grab a little butterfly here. I'll grab my... There we go. I do need to get another black. I'm starting to... This one's starting to be done. I can throw a little butterfly in there. Do a couple of them. I can do one solo. And then take my black marker. Actually, before I take my black marker, watch this. We're going to do this. I think I want to keep my number and that. We'll take a little bit of that white off. Uh, it's easier to do it this way because then I can see how I've got it. Now we'll take that, we'll put that aside. That'll become new paper at some point. Let me take my black marker. Now those of you who sew, you could certainly sew an edge around this. But what this now becomes now I have just a little something that I can stick on a card. And then, you know, you put a little something. There's all, sorts of, there's all sorts of things that you could do with all of this. I have a little piece left over, over, and on this side, um, I can use the same. I can add color to that if I want, or I'm just going to use my same butterfly at the moment and put my butterfly down here. And then I can add my little, where did I put my, I don't know where my pen just went. I'll use this pen instead. This is a thinner line, which I actually like a little bit better. And I'm not worrying too much. And I'll just do a single line on this one because I put my butterfly pretty close to the edge. And there we go. Easy peasy. So now I have a couple of, this is what eventually I will do with several of the others. Um, I will use some of them to go like this. I will use some of them to turn into pockets, but there are lots and lots of options. So this is just something to do with book pages. I color your book pages, stamp your book pages. These are stamps from the Dollar Tree. Um, so these were a buck and a quarter. I know a lot of people say, well, you know, they're not such good stamps. I have not had any trouble with these. So they're perfectly fine stamps as far as I'm concerned. And uh, they make a nice impression. You know, when you have ink that, an ink pad that's not drying out. That's the ink pad's problem, not anything else. All right. So this is just something that you can do with all sorts of pages. You can color them. You can do monochrome kind of things that give you some depth in there. It's just a way to change up your book pages so that you're not using the same kind of coloring all the time. Now you have something a little bit more fun. All right. If you've enjoyed this video, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. I am trying to get my subscribers up and make sure that you like this video and click the little bell for notifications for anything that comes in the future. Okay, I will keep you updated on all of the other things that I'm going to be doing in order to get myself some easy to do, no mind things that I can do when I am heavily drugged after my knee surgery. Uh, I will talk to you soon. 
This is Cindy signing off.